What is up guys? It is Matthew Maz Fishing and we are back again with another video. In this video, I am going to be going over my top five perch lures for ice fishing. This is gonna be in particular for Lake Simcoe, uh, but these lures will apply on the majority of lakes. I've been fishing Kuchiching a lot this year. I've been going on Simcoe a lot more for whitefish, uh, but these have been the traditional lures that I've always stuck to when fishing for perch on Simcoe. So the first lure we're gonna start with is basically a staple perch lure on Lake Simcoe. Majority of people use these when they go out. They're no secret, it's very obvious why. They work very well. That being the slab grabber. This is the classic design with the rounded top on it. This one has a eight millimeter chartreuse bead on it and it has a little white paint at the bottom. It's stained a little bit pink uh, because I was using Liquid Mayhem, a bait attractant that's red and when it dries up, it kind of stains that color. It's not a big deal, the lure still works perfect. So these come in several different styles. Uh, they have the rounded top, as I showed you there. They also have, I believe this is called like the diamond cut top. And then there is also this guy, which is the flat top. I think one of them's called the drain pipe, which I believe is this guy, I could be wrong. Uh, and I think this one's just called like the kite or like diamond cut. They all work quite well. I do tend to sort of lean towards using just the traditional rounded one. And there are a couple of different sizes. Uh, so I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven different slab grabbers. The beads that I buy, I always get either chartreuse or red as you see there. They will vary in size. So you can see I have a bigger red one. I have a smaller red one. Really just depends what's in stock at the store I'm at. This one actually has a gold plate on it rather than the silver. Uh, and some of these I believe are like a half and half. Yeah, so I also have this little guy which is in the diamond cut top. That one's in a six millimeter transparent chartreuse bead. And it's gold on the side, which is a little hard to see with the light. And silver on that side. The slab grabbers work extremely well. The one thing I will say I really like about fishing with these is you don't have to deal with trebles and it's very easy to get the hook out since you have this entire piece to grab on. Uh, so it makes unhooking the fish an absolute breeze, very simple, and it always seems like the perch on Simcoe are hitting these. Very rarely have I had a day where you can't catch a few fish on a slab grabber. Now on those few days that does happen, what I will tend to do is actually tie on a little drop shot. So I use a very, very small hook. This is actually a hook I use for steelhead. I believe it's a Raven hook, a size 12 or 14. Uh, and I, again, I use a very tiny hook and I'll either hook a minnow or a very small soft plastic grub of some sort, uh, just as kind of a second option a lot of the time if they are coasting down to the slab grabber and they aren't interested, they'll go right up and hit that upper bait. So I tie those on a little drop shot. You wanna put them roughly about a foot or so apart, a little bit more, a little bit less, whatever you want. You gotta try different things, see what's working that day. But that's a really key tip. That'll get you a lot more fish, especially on the days where the bite is tough. Moving on guys, the next bait we have is a very, very simple bait to use. It is the classic tungsten jig head. You guys actually saw this particular one in use in my Lake Kuchiching videos. We were tipping these with a minnow. My dad actually caught the 14 incher on Kuchiching on this particular head with nothing on it. It was literally biting the bare tungsten jig. And I always use tungsten over lead when I'm ice fishing because tungsten is extremely dense. Uh, it allows you to reduce the profile of your presentation a lot more and it also gives you a better vibration up through the rod as it is a more dense bait. I'll typically start by tipping it with an entire minnow coming off the back. It might sit to about there. That tends to keep the little ones away. However, sometimes they're in a mood where they're kind of short striking. They're not completely grabbing up to the head, which would be on the hook. Uh, in which case, I will usually cut the minnow body off and just tip the jig with the head. That works very well. Again, that's one of those baits that's almost like a staple bait. I find it almost always works, but you will need minnows. I do sometimes fish them with the soft plastics. This one's actually, it's a VMC tungsten jig head and it comes with the little pre-rigged sort of dragonfly style of soft plastic. These will also work sometimes. I usually only resort to these if I'm struggling to get bit on say a slab grabber or a minnow. I also have the VMC, I think this one's called the probe jig. It's a little bit more of a low profile soft plastic bait. It's literally like a miniature Senko or almost like a Ned Rig style. And uh, that 
tail right there just kind of flaps in the water. It's very subtle. Again, when the bite is tough, these are very good. Moving on guys, this one, I'm actually going to sort of combine two baits. There's one that I find works a little bit better, but they're very similar baits, so I thought I would show them both, especially for on Lake Simcoe. And that bait is the Freedom Turnback Shad. This one is in the 332nd ounce, which is my favorite size to use. I have this one in the white, as you can see. What I really like about these, you can tie it straight on. They have sort of like a built-in swivel with that piece that goes right through the body. So you don't need a swivel, you don't need anything, you don't need a snap. You can literally tie straight to that. As you can see, there's a little piece of line still on it from the last time I used it. These work extremely well. What I really like about the Freedom Tackle ones is they do have a very large uh, distance in which they kind of swirl. So when you jig these, it'll essentially go down, it'll drop, and it'll turn and completely drift back in the other direction. The Freedom Tackle Turn Back Shot in particular has a very large radius in which it will turn around and actually travel on, which I really like. It really helps to attract fish in. Uh, and if you give it light jigs, it can still also be very subtle. So it's one of my favorite baits to use. Always gets hit very good. I have these in a bunch of different sizes. I have white in almost every color they have. There's one size up. And I also have the UV purple, which is another really sick color. I really like that. And then my biggest one that I have is this guy, which is the pearl white. I don't remember what size. I think they have four sizes. I have three of the four. I think there's one size above this one. So as I was saying, I'm gonna sort of combine two baits in this section because the other bait that I find works very well is this guy right here. This is a Rapala Jig and Wrap staple in a lot of guys' ice boxes. It works very similar to the turn back shad. However, with these guys, you may wanna put a swivel on because they don't have that same system as the Freedom Bait, as well as I find they kinda of just jig up and down a lot more rather than sort of drifting in a different direction. They will turn, but they won't travel nearly as far as the turn back shad does. However, with that being said, Rapala came out, I think it was last year or the year before, with this Gobi color. And as you guys know, Simcoe is absolutely full of Gobies, and this has made an absolutely fire bait for catching perch. All right guys, the next bait I have for you is one that I don't use too, too often. Again, it's kind of one that I'll tend to gravitate towards if the bite is kind of hard on some of the staple lures I use, like the turn back shad and a slab grabber, that being the Rapala Ultralight slab wrap. This one is in the perch color. I think it's a UV perch. This is the 04 size. Works very well. It's nice and small, low profile. It does have two trebles as you can see there. It's really nice, tiny little lipless crank that even some of the smaller perch will hit this no problem. But the jumbos have no problem slurping these guys up. I also have it in the traditional perch color. If you guys didn't know, perch will actually eat other perch, which is why I tend to buy the perch color. I find it works the best. They don't make these in any sort of a goby color. Otherwise, I'd probably try that as well. I'm sure the other colors will work. Just me personally, the ones I've had the most luck on are these perch colors. Okay guys, and on to the last bait, which is one that I just recently started using this year, but I am absolutely in love with this bait. It is really awesome. They work very well. And that is the Euro Tackle Z-Viber. So it's pretty similar to the Rapala Slab Wrap. As you can see, there's a little size comparison. If you actually put them side by side, the Slab Wrap just has sort of like that little extended piece out where the tail sits in comparison to the Z-Viber. But these things are absolutely awesome. This is my favorite color in the Z-Viber. This is the one I use most often. Don't remember what it's called. It is all on the website. I ordered mine on the Euro Tackle website. I also bought this one in particular at Natural Sports in Kitchener. They are sold out now. I know a lot of stores have been struggling to keep these on the shelves and for a very good reason, they catch fish. But this has been probably my favorite bait to use this year. It's a ton of fun to fish. It has a small little single hook on the back as you can see there. And they also have a little rattle on the inside. So they do make a little bit of noise. 
I have that in a bunch of different colors. I actually just got an order probably about a week and a half ago of all these other colors, which were the ones that I ordered directly from Euro Tackle. Even if you're in Canada, the shipping is reasonably priced and even with the conversion, it's not too bad, which we usually get killed if you're trying to order anything from the States. But these were actually fairly affordable considering it was going over the border. I also have it in that green color there. Haven't fished this one very much, but it looks like it would be really fire. And I have it in a perch color. Always gotta have perch colors. As you can see, a lot of the baits I use are in a perch color. Then I have it in the UV. This one I think is called like a blue and silver. It is blue and silver, so that would make sense. But this is one of the UV baits that they make. And then I also have the pearl white color and this one is in a glow color so it actually glows in the dark which is really awesome it glows like a vibrant green kind of similar to this color here however since it does have more of like an opaque pearl white color it does tend to be a little bit more of a dull green but i do like using glow lures as much as i can i do find again when the bite's a little bit tougher they will add that kind of little bit of attractant to the bait and help bring more fish in as it's a little bit more visible in the water especially when you tend to get more snow on the ice, thicker ice a little bit later in the season. Glow baits will definitely help you out and do the trick. So guys, that just about wraps it up. Those are my five favorite perch lures in particular for use on Lake Simcoe. However, as I said earlier, they will work on all lakes. If you are planning on catching some jumbos and some very good perch, I highly recommend trying or at least buying one of each of these lures uh, as they will all get bit. Certain days, some lures work better than others. There's no sort of explanation for that. It just depends on what the fish are kind of feeding on. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and a comment down below. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It goes a very long way and I really appreciate everyone that does. Thank you guys very much for tuning into this video and I hope you have a good one. Peace.